Patrick's today, so for many, it's going to be a whole weekend of celebrating. Katie Shiro spoke with people at a busy restaurant. She also spoke with the Green Bay Police Department about how to have fun and stay safe. It's St. Patrick's weekend and lucky for us, there's a ton of fun activities and celebrations happening right here in Northeast Wisconsin and right behind me at St. Brendan's Inn in Green Bay. Madness. It is just a constant um, traffic of people in and out of the bar, the dining room. Kelsey Baston is the manager at St. Brendan's Inn. She said St. Patrick's weekend is a big event for the inn every year with activities ranging from a live music tent to a fundraiser for childhood cancer and marching in Saturday's parade. We kind of started our day with some bagpipers. Father Dave Pryor was here to bless our shamrock plan. At about five in the evening, Jesse Patel said he and his friends had been out since 6.30 in the morning and he'd been looking forward to the holiday. Yeah, I know we come here every year. Baston said like Patel, she sees a lot of the same people come year after year. A lot of families come in together. They, if they have Irish heritage, a lot of them will have their clan on their shirt or their names on their shirt. She added that people usually order the corned beef and cabbage or this year fish and chips because the holiday falls on a Friday. But with this fun, it could come a cost this weekend for anyone driving drunk. Commander Kevin Warwick with the Green Bay Police Department reminds drivers not to get behind the wheel if they've been drinking. We want to remind the community to make sure that they have a plan. Use a safe ride, use a safe ride program, use the safe park program, take a cab, rideshare program, whatever it may be. He said there will be more officers out stopping and looking for traffic violations and impaired drivers. Well, we want people to enjoy uh, St. Patrick's Day, but we want them to do that safely. In Green Bay, Katie Shiro, NBC 26. Thank you.